Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jade if you haven't been here before and today I am bringing you something a little bit different. I haven't called it a haul but I'm trying a few items from ELR style. So if any of you have clicked this video not knowing what ELR style is, it is a brand by an influencer. I think her biggest following is on Instagram. She's called Emily Lucy Ratch and well, I think that's how you say her surname. I'm really sorry if that's wrong. Um, but basically, she kind of promotes like flattering styles that would sort of like hide your tummy area. Like, so she's like mid size, promotes mid size fashion. And she's one of the influencers I have watched for a long time since getting used to my new figure and just found like her tips uh, really, really useful. Um, so I obviously had to try out her brand. So I actually wanted to film this video before I went on holiday, um, but I unfortunately ran out of time due to a few delivery issues uh, with the order. But I mean, I'll tell you about that afterwards, but I do want the focus to be on the clothes and whether they're as good as people say. I mean, the reviews on the website are amazing, saying it's like very, very flattering clothing. So let's see, shall we? Well, do is I'll hold up and show you the items I got, since there are only three, and then we'll move on into the try-on. Um, I'll try not to ramble too much, um, but just tell you a little bit about what I have seen about the products at the same time, just for those of you that don't know. Okay, so the bodysuit I ordered was this one. It is just black. Um, it sort of looks like a vest top at the top, and then it obviously has the bodysuit part at the bottom. It feels really, really thick and good quality. Um, I will say as just like a sort of first impression um, it just has like the little ELR style tag and I got it in a size 2 which I think is like 10 to 12 um, I figured as it's like a boy suit and you want it to cinch in that I would be better doing that seeing as I am like a 12 so I wasn't sure if like the 12 to 14 or 10 to 12 would be better so you can buy extenders which I think are really cool so if you find that this isn't quite long enough for your body um, you can buy an extender I obviously haven't because I don't know how this is gonna fit on me I'm not like super tall and I'm generally shorter in the body than my legs so I'm hoping I don't need one but if I do I'll go back on and order it but yeah first impression really good quality I wear a lot of vest tops and like I hate like the feeling of them being tucked in so I just thought this would be a really good solution um, there are a lot of body seeds on the website different shapes and um, I did really want another one in like a sort of like whiter color but that was out of stock so that's why I didn't um, order that at the time and I just went for this one because I know that this is something I will wear um, it was $32.99, I think, from memory. So they're not like super cheap, but if they're as good as people say and as flattering as people say, I don't think that's too bad a price. But we shall see what it looks like on. Okay, and then I bought the shorts in both the black and the white. I think they are the only two colors that they run in, but they're supposed to have like a more flattering look about them. Um, and so this is the black pair that I'm holding up now. They are very, very, very floaty um, and have like this design on the side, um, which I think is how it's meant to sort of flatter, like the way it's sort of shaped because it's kind of like a V. Um, but they they feel really nice like I don't know if the quality feels like super amazing because they were like 30 pounds but I don't think that's bad especially if they do flatter like they say which I guess we will see so thankfully they did actually arrive the day before I went on holiday so I did take these with me but I didn't actually end up wearing them so that's why the tag isn't on them um, but we shall see what they look like because when I was on holiday it was just way too hot to wear black so I just avoided it and then this is the same shorts in white. I just really am loving lighter colours for the summer. Like my wardrobe has always been so dark and I think I've mentioned in other videos. I'm trying to get a few lighter items into my wardrobe. So I had to get the black because I know I will wear them a lot. But I really wanted the white. I'm just hoping they don't come you know, across two see-through, but they are looking a little sheer. Um, the reviews kind of suggested they weren't, but they, they are looking it, but we shall see. Okay, so let's go and try it all on because, you know, what's a review if I can't tell you exactly how it looks and feels. Okay, so one last thing before we do go and try it on. It is said that you don't need to wear a bra with the bodysuit so that their thickness and stuff is enough. So I am gonna try it without. That is like a brave move for me. I, I always wear my bra, I don't know. I don't like the whole nipple 
showing thing. Nothing against people that do it. Like, free the nipple, I'm all for that, it's just not me. Um, but we, we shall see. So uh, let's go and try everything on. Okay, so this is the bodysuit. I'll show you the bottom half in a second. Um, I'm not feeling the most comfortable showing you like that, but I feel like for you to get a real feel for what it's like, you're gonna have to see the bottom. But um, I just wanted to stand a little closer than I usually do on my try-ons so you can see the top. It actually makes my boobs look really tiny because I think I don't have a bra um, and it's quite like, it actually makes them look a lot smaller. They are actually a double D. Um, but yeah, like, as for the whole no bra thing, like, you can definitely see my nipples a tiny, tiny bit, but actually hardly at all, to the point that actually I probably would even wear it without a bra. So it definitely does what they said. It feels super good quality. Um, it actually um, doesn't feel too tight at all. So obviously I said I sized down because I'm definitely in between sizes so I sort of went to one that's more like 10 to 12 size instead of 12 to 14 and honestly like this is perfect I think like it doesn't feel tight at all but it definitely like holds me in in all the right places um but yeah let me step back and show you exactly what it looks like there we go like I think if this was like a swimming costume also it would just like really cute but um and like really flattering but I think it really does flatter the shape I am um, do have my uh, underwear on underneath at the bottom so if it looks a bit bunched up that is the only reason why it is nothing against the um, actual thing but let me turn round so you can see but yeah that is what it looks like and honestly I definitely will be ordering some more bodysuits at some point I've never really been a bodysuit fan but this feels really really good so um, I think I will totally cope with it because it does. It feels really, really good. Okay, I have thrown the shorts over the bodysuit. Um, I will say they're a tiny bit tight. I mean, they're really stretchy, so it's not like it's an issue getting them on. Um, but I read a lot of people saying, oh, I should have sized down, I should have sized down. So I went for that more like 10 to 12, like size 10 size instead of size 12. Um, sort of the more 12, 14 size. And honestly, like... I kind of feel I'd be more comfortable in the size up. They're just a little bit too tight for me. And I feel that it kind of actually like pushes my fat out, if that makes sense. But they are very, very nice, very, very flattering. And because I am trying to lose weight, hopefully like they are gonna fit me perfectly soon. I have actually managed to lose half a stone since I last weighed myself. So I only let myself weigh myself like literally every six months because otherwise I get too obs obsessed with it um and I don't push push to lose weight but I try to be more healthy and sort of do it slowly so that it's manageable for me because if I push myself I just know I won't ever get there um but yeah overall like very very nice as I said it is like a very flattering shape it kind of like comes out I'm not sure it suits my body super well but it is hard to tell while the waistband is a little bit on the tight side um, but yeah, I still really like them and I definitely recommend getting them. Just kind of work out what size you're going to need. Okay, and these are the shorts in white. I kind of prefer them in white to an extent. Um, they're actually not quite as tight. I do know with darker materials, like sometimes they shrink more when they dye them. So I'm thinking that's probably why. Um, because I've had the same issue with like Boohoo and other places as well. Um, so yeah, the white definitely feels a little bit better inside. It's still a tiny bit on the tight side, but much better. And um, I just think generally seems to just look more flattering on me. I don't really know why. Um, is it see-through? Yes, it is. I don't know in the camera if you can see how well the uh, body suit is showing through it. But it definitely is, but not like super badly. So on a holiday, like a beach holiday or something in a hot country, 100% I'd wear this anyway, I don't care. Would I wear it in the UK just to go shopping or something? I don't know, I think I'd feel too self-conscious. I feel like I would save it more for like beaches. Or obviously wear like something else with this that isn't gonna show through. So just like nude underwear <laughs> with a different top. Um, maybe just not pair it with like a black bodysuit. So if I had more of a nude bodysuit, I actually think it would look really super good. Um, and as I said, it's not showing through too badly. Um, and I, d I definitely recommend these. I think as white shorts go, they often are see-through and these aren't too bad. And they just are of like a really nice lightweight feel. So 
I'm still giving them a thumbs up. So hopefully those of you that have watched this have found that like interesting, me trying it on, or maybe you found a new company to try of clothes that you might think might suit you. It is mainly body suits they sell, but there's a couple of other items on there. Um, so it's worth checking out, especially if you do feel like a little insecure more around your middle area, because I do think that these clothes are definitely designed for that. Um, and yeah, if you want me to quickly explain what happened with the delivery, so... I ordered two weeks before I went on holiday because I thought the shorts would be really, really worth it and I'd been wanting to try this stuff for a long time. Um, obviously it isn't the cheapest, it did cost me like, I think with postage, it was like almost £100 for my order, so it's not super cheap, like for three items that is quite a lot, but I was totally willing to try it because the reviews were so amazing. So yeah, five or six days later after ordering, I got the notification that it would be delivered by every um, that particular day. So I made sure I rearranged my plans so that I'd be in to get it in the time slot they gave me and um, they actually ended up posting it through the door and I was like, oh, I, I didn't think that would fit. And I, I walked around and like the package was tiny so I was like, oh my god, this stuff must be really, really bad quality, like I've made a mistake. Um, but then when I opened it, it only had the bodysuit in and I was a little confused because I thought, oh, well, okay, maybe they've sent them separate. But I went back on the tracking and the tracking number was the same for all the items. Um, so I was a bit confused, but it definitely hadn't been like open or torn or anything taken out. And because it was like packaged really neatly, but really small. So they'd obviously just forgot to put in um, the shorts. Unfortunately, it was obviously the shorts I wanted for my holiday and I obviously kind of needed to get this rectified. So I emailed them straight away. This was kind of like lunchtime. It was a Friday, so I was like, oh, you know, I really hope they do respond today because obviously it's a working day. And I'm thinking like a smaller company hopefully doesn't have like too many emails going through. Um, but unfortunately, I did not hear anything. I didn't hear anything on the Saturday or the Sunday. And I, I wasn't exactly expecting to from a smaller company on a weekend, but they were constantly updating the like Instagram and the socials so it was kind of frustrating that I couldn't like get heard from them so I gave them the Monday thinking well you know that's sort of like 48 hours then that they've had of like working days to respond and I still didn't get a response I gave them to about Tuesday lunchtime still hadn't heard anything and I'm thinking oh I'm going away in like five days like I'm never gonna have um, my stuff on time and it was kind of really bumming me out because you know it was a lot of money it was like 60 pounds worth of stuff um, so I actually wrote a comment on because they were constantly still posting on socials I post I commented on their like latest posts like hey like half of my order didn't turn up I've emailed but I haven't had any response like it's been like almost three days now three working days I mean um, well literally I got an email like that I, they obviously read my comment, they deleted my comment and just emailed me like that and uh, yeah, needless to say they put the order straight back in and it literally arrived the day before I left. Now they were great dealing with it, they were lovely, they just sent it back out, they were great in that sense but just a warning like the only thing to learn from this I think is like when you are dealing with a smaller company it seems that they're going to be super super slow. Um, dealing with things which I get is probably not their fault because there's probably like hardly any employees but you know just a warning like if you want something for a specific reason order like a month or two out like just in case anything goes wrong I thought two weeks would be plenty but because it went wrong it just it, it wasn't um, so if you need something from them from a deadline and it's a short deadline I wouldn't advise it but otherwise a really great company to deal with so I'm not trying to do this to say don't shop with them I'm just sort of saying the risks it runs with them and uh, I'm sure like other small companies as well so that is the only thing but you know I've loved trying on the clothes and I'm sure I will get out some use of them and wear them a lot so overall like I really recommend them it's just, but I want to be honest like I'm never gonna sit here and lie to you about oh it was the smoothest transaction I've ever made or anything like that like I will always tell you my honest experience so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling about it now and I hope you enjoyed looking at it and um, I'm gonna list Emily's socials below in case you want to follow her if you don't know her like I really think it's worth it especially if you are having some body confidence issues I've found like a few 
different sort of YouTubers and influencers that have really, really helped me come to terms and style like my new body. And I've been like actually really starting to enjoy it and just like trying on all these different clothes. So yeah, I will see you real soon again, guys. Bye.